Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss like how to integrate OpenAI with our cognitive search or we can say with the Azure AI search services. In the previous video where we have discussed like how we can do the or how we can perform the search operation over the cognitive search using the .NET code. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous part of this tutorial series so you will have the better understanding on the cognitive search. So let's understand how we can integrate OpenAI with Azure AI services. So first thing like OpenAI is not available freely. And like we have to uh, take the a paid license for this one. And another thing like before creating this OpenAI service, what we have to do, we have to fill this form. This form is necessary with the Azure OpenAI services. So you can find this link in the description section to uh, proceed with this request. Now the next thing, once you will get the request and you when you will get the uh, like confirmation from Azure team, what you have to do in the Azure portal, you have to click on Azure Open AI. You can search that from this section also. And once uh, you will do, it will ask to create the Open AI service. So here you have to select the resource group and here you have to give your name. So what I'm going to give .NET Office uh, AZ. Open AI and next you have to uh, select the pricing tier. Click next and then next. Next, if you want to give any tag or something, you can give. Now it is validating all the information, and once all the validation is successful, it will ask us to create. So now, if you will click on create, it will take few seconds to uh, like creating this service for us. So, uh, like with this service, what we can do. If once we will uh, done the integration of this open AI with the uh, cognitive search, it will keep the result better. And here we will see and this operation we will perform using the .NET code in the coming videos. There we will see like how it perform the operation. So once the deployment will be completed, we will go to that particular resource and then we will perform further operation which it will give all the details. So let's wait for some time to complete the deployment. Now we can see our deployment is completed. Now let's go to the resource. Once you will come on the resource on the overview tab, you here on the top, you will see go to the Azure Open AI Studio. And I will click on this one. It will take us to on the different page. There, what we have to do, we have to create the deployment service for the Open AI. And with that deployment service, we have to do the integration. And through that only we have can search the data. So this deployment is basically has the different type of the models and we have to search and like according to us, we have to find one deployment. So when I will click on this deployment here, create a new deployment will come and from here you can select deployment model. So currently I'm searching, uh, taking GPT-35 Turbo model version I'm taking auto update to default and deployment name. So I'm saying .NET Office deployment So this I'm taking uh, like .NET Office deployment name I'm giving. There are advanced uh, options. So I'm keep it in, uh, keep all these things as it is. Now, if you will click on create, it will take few seconds uh, to uh, like complete the deployment. Here we can see it is successful and our deployment has completed. Now, when you will click on this one, it will have the, all the information. Now, if you want to perform the operation locally, you can go in the playground, open in playground here. What we have to do, we have to add the data. So here we have to add the data source. Now this data source I'm taking from blog storage because I'm having that only. Now this I can take .NET Office data storage files and AI search .NET Office this one. So these all these things is related to mine. So that's why. I'm going to select this one. Now I'm selecting this test. Now the thing is here we are giving the index name. When I will click on this test, it what it will do, it will create one index name in our cognitive search for us. So uh, if you want, you can delete the letter then from the cognitive search, but it will create that index. I'll acknowledge, click next, click next, like it is asking keyword, uh, like in uh, next and then save and data. It will perform, take some time to integrate uh, all those uh, 
taking all those files here, you will see the update here once all the file will be updated here. Currently, you can see here zero of three files is in progress. So once everything will be done here, three of three file will be there means all the file will be uploaded successfully in our Azure uh, Open AI. So locally, what we can do, we can it's a it's a check playground means uh, Open AI itself give us to test our everything uh, like the data is coming as expected or not. So for that purpose, we can do this. But if you want to test this with the this with the .NET, we have to do the setup and all these things now after processing all the file it is creating the indexing so that's what will happen with the cognitive search like when the data store is completed we do the indexing so everything is done from here and it has given the link as well so when you will click on this one what it will do it will take us to the cognitive search where this model this particular uh, like uh, indexing uh, will be completed for us on the cognitive search so it is directly taking us where we can uh, search the data here you can find the value so now here if i want to search so this is the simple terms i'm giving like hi so it will give the auto generated message like hello how i can assist you today so i'm saying what is angular so uh, accordingly what it will do either it will say like uh, i'm not able to perform any operation or it will give the response like so because uh, we have the up uploaded file so here you can see all the information is coming and it is giving the reference like from here it is giving the output so all these information is coming expected if you want to see this output in the json format you can see it will give the result in the json format as well so this is the way like here it is giving the information so what is happening is basically like this is the way what we can do we can perform uh, like this open ai a search with the uh, cognitive search now the thing is let's go back here and you can see the reference so it is uh, result is coming as expected now in the coming video what we will do we will perform this operation using the dotnet code like uh, there uh, we will see how we can perform the search operation there and it should give the expected data so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you